Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we are back to working on the Tally Ho Capstan project. And uh, I think this is really gonna be, I, I keep saying this is the last step. And I don't know this is the last step in the actual project, but it will hopefully be the last uh, so-called machining step, I think, in getting this together. So we've been working on this top cap. There's been a lot of machining that we've had to do to it. We've already gone in and bored these holes in the side. Uh, but there are these little bronze pieces that have to kind of bolt up onto the side here. These are here to hold the gears in place. These fit up in here. This is what kind of keeps it from coming out. And uh, the castings need to be notched out to kind of receive this. And I'll give you a close up here in just a minute to kind of show you what's got to be done. And unfortunately, I think we're just going to have to do this the really manual old fashioned way, we're just gonna get in here with a grinder and just kind of grind some cast iron out to get these things to fit. So let me kind of show you what we gotta do and get you, we'll get off to the start and hopefully get this knocked out without too much trouble. So this is a piece of the original capstan cap that was broken uh, when we took everything apart. It was actually broken when we got it, but we broke it even worse trying to get it, this whole thing taken apart, which is why we had to make the new one. We had the new piece cast, we've been machining it and everything else. But you can see here on the side um, where this little piece fits up into. And uh, of course there's the bolt holes that hold it in place, but in the casting there's these little recesses for those tabs to kind of fit up into. Now, these were originally cast into the part when it was being cast. There was a core that went in here, and this was actually, no metal was ever poured in there. Over on the new capstan cap that we had, uh, the way the cores were, they did not have that little indention in there. And um, so we're going to have to go in here and basically just grind some metal out for that to go in. The nice thing is, is that, you know, what's behind it, doesn't have to be super pretty because it's going to be covered up. We do need to kind of keep out of here. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge getting those square corners in there uh, with a grinder, but we're going to do the best job we can to get that done. But you can kind of see what we need to do. Uh, and when it's all said and done, like I said, this will just fit up in there and get these bolted in place. And um, I think that should be it. So the holes there, we just got to get, get the little indentions done. I'm going to get a Sharpie pen and just kind of trace around that. And uh, we'll go from there to get this thing in there. All right, we will just kind of hold that in there. And I'm just going to take a little Sharpie pen here. Can't tell if that's quite long enough. Yes, we're getting it. I do the same thing to the bottom and I can see what I kind of got to get out of there. All right, there you go. That's what we kind of got to grind out. It's got to go back pretty much flush with the back piece back there. It's going to be a challenge. Uh, like I said, getting into those square corners, I don't have a whole lot of area for a radius disc to go in there, but uh, we're just going to get in here and between an grind, uh, angle grinder and a die grinder, maybe we can get it cut out of there. That's how I give it a try. Just got a cut off disc here. And uh, just gonna kind of come in here and start trying to establish that. I think I'm gonna get a regular grinding wheel, thicker grinding wheel, and see if I can get some of that out. All right, it's just more of a regular style, thick grinding wheel, so that thin one. Thin one there. All right, well, we are off to a start. Um, I pretty much got the bottom done, but I got to get these corners kind of chiseled out. 
that's where it's going to get challenging because everything I've got is rotary. So I've got a round bottom in it, but I need some squares to get down in there. I'm not sure how I'm going to get that done. I'm just going to have to get in here and play with it. But the grinder went pretty good, at least at removing most of that metal. Let me see what I can do about getting into those corners now. And I'm moving to a die grinder here with a little carbide burr bit in here and I'll change gears and see if we can make this kind of work in there a little bit. That's coming along. So that's actually notched out pretty good. Let's uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna flip this over and do the same thing on the top. And uh, see, we can't get that out. This is actually going better than I thought it was going to go. Well, guess I'll be looking for a new cutter there. That one just snapped. Let's see how this goes. Let's see, it goes in this way. Well, we're making progress. I got a little bit more massage and do. And that, that's about it, right there. Look at that. So this gear will go up in there. Got a little massaging to do to get the gear in there right, but the flange fits in there. These were numbered from the factory. This one was number two, the other side's number one. I'm gonna get a number stamp and I'm gonna stamp that because uh, that's the way the originals were. Don't know how well you can see it in the video, but there is a number two stamped right there. A number two stamp right here, this one originally went right here, you can tell they matched. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this one where those uh, stamps will match. Number two, I'm just gonna do it right there. I'm gonna take that out where it doesn't fall out when I do it. Number two. I might need to do just a little bit more fit in here, but that's really, really close. And of course, I need to drill and tap a couple of holes here to, for the bolts to hold it in place. But um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, kind of get it done as well. Uh, we'll do it off camera, but kind of get these things moving along. All right, with our notches in here, I think we're ready to kind of assemble this. So our gear again goes up in it like such. And then our bronze piece captures that in place. So it'll spin inside of that. That'll keep that from pulling out. And we got two little bronze bolts here that get tapped into the casting to hold it all in place. Now, 
on these bronze nuts. It's half inch. I was able to measure that with the calipers, no problem at all. I went and got a uh, half inch nut just to screw up on there, just to check the threads and it will not go. I've ran into this problem before. Back in the early 1900s when this was made, half inch 13, which is the standard for a half inch, 13 threads per inch, that was not the standard back in that time. Back in that time, half inch 12 was, and I have ran into many machines over the years that had half inch 12 threads. So there's a thread pitch, 12 threads per inch. Something a little bit unusual that you don't run into every day. Fortunately, I have a half inch 12 tap that we can use to get the right thread pitch in there uh, to go with that. So just a close up here, you can see the uh, 12 threads per inch on the thread pitch gauge. I will also note, I've had a lot of people comment about Whitworth threads, uh, which was an English standard back at the time period this was done, which instead of using a 60 degree included angle on threads, I think it was 55 degrees. But looking at the thread form in the thread pitch gauge, this is a 60 degree thread pitch gauge. It looks like it matches. I feel like we'll be fine just using a regular um, standard 60 degree tap. Pretty sure these will fit just fine. It looks like they're 60 degree threads to me. Uh, so we'll give it a try. So with this all kind of in place, again, using a transfer punch, this is a half inch transfer punch with the same size as this hole. I'm just gonna find the center and we're gonna center punch these two holes. And I'm just gonna use a hand drill to drill those out and, uh, and we'll tap those and put them together. I'm just going to start with a smaller hole to kind of go through this. And two, I just want to kind of look at my angle of attack. With the pilot hole drill, I'm going to a 2760 force, and uh, this will take us to our size of the tapped hole. Put a little anchor lube on this tap here. This is again a half inch 12 threads per inch. And we'll go ahead and get that tapped in there. All right. Our second hole here. And make sure those are going to screw in there. And they do just fine. So let's uh, see if we can put this one together. 
All right, we got our gear here. We're gonna go ahead and insert it in. There it goes. Make sure I got the right one. This is stamp number one. So this goes on this side. That feels good. And we'll uh, bolt her together here. You go find the right size wrench for this. All right, let's tighten them up. got that one installed. Feels great. So um, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, get it put on and um, move on to the next thing here. And that one is in as well. Happy with the outcome. All right. Um, wow. What's left to do? There were some oil holes up in the top of this that go down to the various places where we need oil. So uh, I probably need to drill those in. But other than that, I think we're about done with this thing. Ready to put it together and see if it'll work. All right, I did come in here and just drill a couple of holes up here in the top for oil holes. That's pretty much just doing exactly the same thing that was in the original. There were three holes in here. We kind of copied exactly what they did. And that will allow them to get some oil down in those areas that we need it. But with that, I think that we are through with the machining of this capstan cap. And uh, we are to the point where ready to try to put all the stuff together and do some fine tuning and fitting. And I'm gonna be doing that coming up here real quickly in a, an upcoming episode. I've got some stuff that's on its way from the UK right now from Webster's Boat Machinery. Uh, with the engineering company that's been helping us with the design work on this. Uh, this a lot of the, the mechanical parts of it to, to power drive this thing using that gear that we put in the bottom. Uh, it is due to be here any minute now, and as soon as it arrives, uh, I will be going ahead and starting the process, putting all this stuff together. And you guys will get to come along for that ride uh, when it gets here. So hang tight. We'll be back real soon. Hopefully be able to see this thing all in one piece and see it, you know, more or less working the way it should. Keeping my fingers crossed that everything goes together good. Don't have to do any more, you know, anything major tuning. I'm sure we'll have to do some fine tuning, but uh, hopefully it all goes together well. Guys, with that, that is a wrap. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Those thumbs up and comments are always greatly appreciated. It really does help out with the algorithms on YouTube. It shows your interaction with my channel and, and that's, a, that's a big thing with them and it helps me to get discovered by other people. So even if you just say, well done, or hit that like button, that thumbs up button, it really, really helps out. Also, big huge thank you to those guys who support the site financially through Patreon and PayPal. There's links for that down in the description below if you wanna help out with that. That funding really just helps enable me to be able to take the time to do all this video shooting and video editing and everything that goes along with that. It takes an awful lot of time, and uh, it really does enable me to be able to justify taking the time out of the shop where I could be making money working uh, to make a little bit of money off of uh, being able to show this stuff as part of my job. So there you go. With that, we will sign off. We'll catch you on the next video again. Thanks for watching.